Okay, we're going to look at how to take inverses of equations. The main thing when you're taking an inverse is that it goes backwards from what you're doing. So um, when you plug something into x and something comes out, an answer comes out for y, you want the reverse thing to happen. So if the reverse thing is going to happen, we just need to switch x and y. We need to switch what you're plugging in with what you're getting out. So my first step always is to just take the equation that I get and switch x and y. If I switch x and y, I now have the inverse. Typically, once you have the inverse, though, it's not written how you like. So you want to write the inverse so it says y equals. And if I want to solve this for y, I need to divide both sides by 5. So if I divide both sides by 5, these 5s reduce to y equals x over 5. I'd probably rewrite that to y equals x over 5 or y equals 1 fifth x. Okay, over here on the right, how do I find the inverse of y equals 2x plus 1? Same deal. I switch x and y. Okay, once I get that, I don't like how it's written because I want my equations to say y equals. And so I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. I'm left with x minus 1 equals 2x. Still trying to get y by itself, so I've got to divide by 2. Those cancel. I'm left with y equals x minus 1 divided by 2. Or you could also write that as y equals, if I divide both those things by 2, I would get 1 half x minus 1 half. Okay, So that would be the inverse of that one. Okay, down here we have some quadratic equations, and we're wanting to find the inverse of those. So those are a little bit different. Um, still, same first step switch x and y and now I want to solve for y the first step here kind of seems okay because I can divide by 2 and I get that those cancel x divided by 2 equals y squared and now I need to get rid of the squared and to get rid of the squared I need a square root uh, both sides so if I square root both sides one thing I have to remember is if I square root both sides of an equation I need to make this plus or minus Okay, so I, I'm left with y equals plus or minus the square root of x over 2. Okay, y equals x squared minus 3. Same deal on that one. I want to find the inverse, so I switch x and y. Okay, now that I've switched x and y, I need to solve for y. Um, I need to add this 3 to the other side. And I've got x plus 3 equals y squared and just like on the last one if I want to get rid of the squared now I square root so I square root both sides it makes this plus or minus and my answer is y equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 3 and that's how you find the inverse of linear and quadratic equations